and able to get this out to the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. O'Connell to throw right away. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to put that first down, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And Jacobs is going to have a Raiders first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Counter play with Jacobs. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Third and nine here. Now it's O'Connell. He lets it go deep for Mayer. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a big play there for Vegas. 48 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Jacob's going to try the middle. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and five from the 8. Here's O'Connell. Touchdown, Raiders! Devontae Adams from eight yards out. And the Raiders will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start. And they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Kenny Nawagu now out of his end zone. 
And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. K.J. Osborne, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. Here's Dobbs to throw. Yeah, to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. And remember the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. To throw is Dobbs. He lets one go deep for Addison. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Out of the gun, Dobbs. There's Addison. Touchdown, Vikings. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Vikings are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Joseph connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that drive spanned five plays. And Jordan Addison capped it off with a touchdown catch. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. 
Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing O'Connell. His throw incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. O'Connell working from the gun. He's got his target. That's complete. A big play there on the catch and run. 58 yards. He's already got one touchdown this first half already. That very nearly was a second. Defensively, they're going to have to figure something out because he's been able to outrun the defenders early and often so far. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. To the air again with O'Connell. And he's got it. Touchdown. Jacoby Myers. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Raiders have taken the lead. The catch and the touchdown, they were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. Carlson on for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive of four plays, and it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. Taking it about the one. Oh, a good looking return set up here. Kenne Nwangu. He will score. Touchdown, Minnesota. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Joseph now to have the PAT. And we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all knotted up at 14. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, 
My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down, Jacobs once more. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from Vegas. The home standing Raiders with a football here. Now third down and seven as they've got it as we resume action to throw here O'Connell oh, rifles one that's going to be intercepted picked off by Harrison Smith and they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48 yard line well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield now look it's paid off for him a couple of times that time not so fortunate and that's where i want to start what you said it's paid off a couple of times so his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part so he throws an interception there no one likes that but i would not rein him back in the return on investment thus far has been pretty good two touchdowns to one interception play action it's Dobbs this is Alexander Madison out of the backfield with it it'll be a gain of just a yard and it's second down all defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people but they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal gain throwing here Dobbs Steps away to his left. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Ten yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Dobbs throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Dobbs. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Try to find Jordan Addison that time. And it's third and short. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Here's Madison running on first down. And he'll get into the end 
zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Alexander Madison, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings are going to take the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second down, O'Connell. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. O'Connell looking to throw on first. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stay. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Here's second and five now from the 37. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. And O'Connell now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, 
That's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Back to throw, O'Connell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 23. A third down gain of 19. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down throw, O'Connell. Open man, that's Renfro. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. It moves right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And once again, O'Connell back to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. Touchdown, Raiders! Michael Mayer, a five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now Dobbs. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Malcolm Coons. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far, so maybe the question isn't, Who's going to score the most points in this game? Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
are ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? A gain of three, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Dobbs is throwing. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Oh, partner, just a second earlier. And they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage. But he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Facing short yardage on third down, but he was able to pick up a very sizable gain. He certainly was, and I think that maybe they were fooled a little bit because you and I both know this is a passing league, and that's not normally a running down, and they fooled them with it. Safety had to make the play. Otherwise, he's still running, and the next thing, he runs right into the goal post. Back to the ground on first down. Here's Madison. He's got it to the 43 here. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here's a second and eight. Here's Dobbs to throw. Pass complete to Addison. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third down and three. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they run with Madison. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Going to run with Madison again. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 110 yards here for Madison. He's got a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. They'll go Madison up the middle. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. A field goal would get them the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. To throw his Dobbs. And he 
he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football, and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass. But it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. The kick by Joseph is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Joseph now to kick this one away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he returns this to the 22. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second and nine. And they go play action here with O'Connell. That throw right side here going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. And this offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and nine. that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Go. 
Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Dobbs got a throw here, caught by Addison. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw Dobbs. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 38 now, here's second down at five. Looking to throw. Dobbs. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Nate Hobbs there to bring him down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's gonna line up out right then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. From the gun on third down, Dobbs. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. On second down, Dobbs over the middle and complete to Addison. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they run on first down. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Madison is in. Touchdown, Minnesota. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box.
Joseph on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown scamper from Alexander Madison. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So now London, down by 10, a minute 47 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's O'Connell. Pass complete. It's Adams. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A two timeout still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. Able to connect with Jacobs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. O'Connell. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. This is first and ten. O'Connell looking to throw yet again. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 25-yard line. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. They'll try again here, second and ten. Off the play fake, O'Connell. He's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Let's do this, man. 
One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But 